Prosecutors in Massachusetts dropped a charge of indecent assault against actor Kevin Spacey. Now, this comes after Spacey's alleged victim refused to testify. The man's family say they are very disappointed with the prosecutor's decision. CTM national correspondent Jerika Duncan has been following this case from the very beginning. Text messages do not simply delete themselves yeah, from an iPhone. No, they do not. The man accusing actor Kevin Spacey of indecent assault and battery said the cell phone he used that night in 2016 contained incriminating text messages and videos. His mother testified earlier this month. He had shot a video of Kevin Spacey sticking his hand inside his pants. But the now 21-year-old who was 18 at the time later told authorities he lost the phone. Last week, he pleaded the Fifth Amendment when defense attorneys reminded him that altering evidence, like manipulating screenshots, is illegal. Those texts are not in the screenshots. Those texts are not in the screenshots. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. If you have a complaining witness who is allegedly a sexual assault victim, who is claiming the Fifth Amendment and therefore is not going to testify, what have you got? You've got nothing. The district attorney filed a motion to drop the case against Spacey, citing the unavailability of the complaining witness. The accuser's family disagreed with that move. The fact that the prosecution has decided not to go forward in no way says that Kevin Spacey has been exonerated. The prosecution was simply faced with a case that by virtue of the alleged victim taking the Fifth Amendment, they didn't have a witness to say what happened. We reached out to Spacey's attorney for comment, but have not heard back. The actor is not out of legal jeopardy completely. He reportedly is still facing sexual assault allegations in Great Britain. This is the prosecutor's decision, not the family's. Correct. The family was disappointed by this. They wanted to move forward. You know, when we spoke to Heather Unruh two years ago, um, she felt like the Me Too movement, this was the time to come out with whatever had gone on and, and felt as though the victim blaming was was over in terms of culturally, so she's upset. All right, Jerika, thank you.